I have had request after request after, yes, even another, a third request for a matchup with any different type of opponent with Samir Banu. Samir Banu, it kept popping up. Samir Banu with anybody. So I figured I would find the perfect opponent for Mr. Banu. And I believe that I have. This is Momo Beneziza, Mohamed Beneziza. He is an Algerian bodybuilder, I think. Anyway, he moved, he immigrated somewhere else. But he, I, I believe he was born in Algeria. And of course, the Lion of Lebanon, Samir Benou, Lebanese, baby please. Hard to tell from the front relaxed. A lot of stomach distension there for Momo Beneziza, actually. But I don't think he's hitting the shot at all, so it's not fair. Jump right into the mandatories. Front double bicep. And as far as the arms are concerned, these two are very similar. Bicep structure. Very similar indeed. Waistlines, I would have to give the advantage to Momo. A little bit uh, more diced up in the abs. Samir, if I had to be nitpicky, he has uh, not the smallest waistline in the world, but ditto with Momo Beneziza. Mohamed Beneziza, look at the size of those legs on him. Maybe a little too big. Hard to say. Front double bicep, I would probably give to Samir. Just because he's a little more aesthetic, I believe. He's so much taller, too. I think that helps. Front lat spread. Judging by this one, it is a Samir pose. But the camera, it's tilted thusly. And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of footage of Momo Beneziza, as you probably do know. He died right smack dab in the middle of his prime. He's 33 years old. Here is a photo shoot picture of Momo Beneziza. And I think he probably would win the front lat spread if the camera angles were proper. Take a look at the right peck of Momo Beneziza. I don't know if I should do this. The guy's dead. Disrespectful. But, well, well I, I began now. His nipple. It's totally misplaced. Do you see that? How high his nipple is? Maybe that had something to... No, I, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. But I am giving him the, him the point in the front lat. Side chest, and this is not a good pose for Momo Beneziza, and an awesome one, an outstanding one for the much leaner Samir, but you can tell he is tilted thusly and it creates so much size. And Momo, he's showing that that nipple that was up high, and maybe that has something to do with the angle of this shot. Do you notice he's he's crouching down, making it look like his nipple's not quite so high. Could you, you could imagine if he was holding it normal, his nipple would be way up there by his neck. But anyway, like I said, this is, that's terrible, terrible, terrible. Anyway, Samir gets the point for sure, as well as the side tricep, no doubt. No disrespect at all meant to Momo Beneziza, may he rest in peace, but still, in the tricep development, not the best. He definitely has the conditioning. And I think that was why he died. His conditioning, guys. He, he's taking those diuretics and dumping every ounce of water out of that physique. And I'm not being funny now. I'm serious. That's how Andreas Munzer died as well. You get too dry. It had nothing to do with steroids or getting big and muscular. I'm sure that didn't help. But anyway, it had nothing to do with that. It dumps every ounce of water out of that physique. That's how he maintained that muscle size stayed so dry but it doesn't matter the structure Samir Benu just a incredible physique turn around this is probably what all you guys were waiting for the back comparisons Samir he was never the best in the rear lat spread when you compare both of his shots and Momo look at how thick his lat insertions are I think he might be getting an edge in this he has a little bit more flow in that V taper I think, than Samir. But Samir, you can see his Christmas tree, for goodness sakes, even in this shot. Frig. Close one. Let's have a look at the other back shot, and we'll make our final decision. And gosh darn it, the camera angle is tilted terribly here for Momo Beneziza. You can't really tell. Although Samir, picture perfect. Talk about picture perfect. Here's another one of Momo Beneziza. You can really see he was perhaps a little bit... Lower body dominant. 
Definitely doing battle with Samir as far as the lat insertions are concerned. And Momo known for beating Dorian Yates from behind. But if you look at those pictures, Dorian was a hot dog at that time compared to what he 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 began or what he became. He's from Yorkshire, England, I think. Dorian Yates. But anyway, Lebanese, baby please. Rear double by. I would say definitely Samir is getting this one. Abanthai shot. I don't think this is a good angle for Mohammed Benaziza. I don't think it's a good angle for Momo Benaziza at all. Not at all. Because I think he probably may fetch a victory in the Avanthai, considering his thigh is so much bigger than Samir Benu's. Samir, a lot of good flow in this shot. Nice lats, nice abs, nice chest as well. Chest, very underrated in the Avanthai shot. You need that to create that V taper. So at the end of the day, using these pitchers, I think Samir is getting an edge. And since we don't really use the most muscular as a judging utensil prior to, I don't know, 2003, I'll say, 2002. I think after that, they used it as a mandatory shot. So Samir Bano, guys, I believe he is winning this matchup. And this is a photo shoot anyway of... Momo Beneziza, so it's going to favor him, and look how vascular, thick, muscular he is. Just incredible. As far as the waistline is concerned, Samir had the edge in this the entire time. Mohamed Beneziza, one of the first forerunners of Palumboism, perhaps. Actually, he kind of looks like Dave Palumbo here, does he not? Anyway, no disrespect meant to Mohamed Beneziza. May he rest in peace. Peace. He died right smack dab in the middle of his career. One of the best backs, I think, in bodybuilding history. For sure. But was it enough to take out Samir Banu and this incredible, and I mean incredible back development? No. No, it wasn't. So, Samir Banu is your clear winner, in my opinion. His structure is just phenomenal. I mean... He dueled it out with Dorian Yates in a matchup one time, and he did very well. So he's he's taking names, taking people's you know, victories, he's getting victories on a lot of bodybuilders. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this comparison. I got a lot of requests for a Samir Banu. I hope this diffused your, your need for a Samir Banu video. I enjoy him as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit thumbs up subscribe. Have a good day.